Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Boltabeast, and welcome to a new Sims 4 speed build. This is the Modern Cherry Blossom lot, which is the name. So, if you guys want to download the slot, you can launch the launcher for the Sims 4, go into the gallery, and look up Boltabeast, and see it featured on my profile. If not, you can uh, still do a search for the name of the lot called Modern Cherry Blossom. This lot, I'd say, would ha has some Japanese architecture into it, along with futuristic and modern amenities and even designs, architecture, I want to say. <clears throat> but I am hoping we get a look at maybe even a list to some of the Sims 4 expansion stuff packs that would be coming out soon. And due to the news uh, being discovered on the launcher, well, for me, the Sims 4 has a outdoor living stuff pack coming out soon called the Perfect Patio stuff, or Perfect Patio set. And this house, I would say, is prepped for a perfect patio. <laughs> so, this house is more on the modern and futuristic style. <clears throat> so, if you guys want to download this house, go ahead and type in Boltabeast or Modern Cherry Blossom into the search bar of the Sims 4 Gallery, and you can download the slot and play around with it. So, there are some adjustments I have, like right now, I have to move over this entire side of the, of the building just to, to have that uh, hallway wide enough for a stair set to go in there. And I put a pool here using the new uh, custom pool tool. In the beginning, you probably saw a similar thing called the perfect, or the, not perfect. The, uh, the custom room tool. And basically what it does is that every time you click a point on the grid, it will angle it however you want. And you can create custom rooms, custom shapes uh, to your house, to your heart's desire. There's even a basement version of it, and I love it. Now, personally, I don't do basements. They're creaky, they're eerie, they kind of creep me out. And in all honesty, I don't like uh, basements because they're kind of dark, they're cramped sometimes, they're extremely damp, and they can flood even. So... I try to stay away from basements, even in real life, so. In terms of future videos, I expect to get my recording software situated and able to record even gameplay, but at this time, I can't. So. Let's get back to the lot. Um, for this lot, I went with more of a modern, futuristic, maybe even a little bit Asian uh, style for this house. Because this is a family home. Four bedrooms, well technically five, but one's an office and I don't count offices. So, four bedrooms, three baths, One on the lower level, one on the, or two on the upstairs level. And I love this little hallway. It's amazing. I just love it. If you want, you could put doors on that, to, in those hallways, just so your sims can get through those to the other side if they needed to, instead of going all the way around. So... I would say this lot is heavy on neutral colors, um, mainly being white 
or black. Mainly white, I would say. But for these rooms, I kind of went themed. Here's the office right now. It went with a red theme. That bedroom was blue. This one is green. Another is orange. And that floor is custom content, by the way. I got rid of all the custom content. Just so you guys can download this house, if you want. And that room currently being worked on, that's purple. So there's going to be red, green, orange, and purple. And, oh, I'm sorry, blue also for the rooms. If you want, you can turn the office into a bedroom if you wanted to. But basically what I did with this law is that I experimented. I figured out what I could do, and I loved some of the ideas, but they couldn't work. What I would like is for the Sims 4 dev team to allow fountains to be built on foundations, just like pools can. Like, their properties are pretty much the same. I don't understand why we can't just put fountains on decks and foundations. Kind of blows my mind how everyone wants their homes built. So, I get rid of all that terrain paint and redo it. And I couldn't figure out the size of the grill. Not the grill, the... Uh, campfire from outdoor retreat <clears throat> so i had to put place that and then place the campfire and the seats but forgive me there are a total of eight so you'll you will have to remove one just so your sims can get in there i'm sorry i didn't do that if you, you see this this lot is up on the Sims 4 gallery for download and you guys can play around with it do as you want and as for me I will certainly be getting the perfect patio stuff I'm actually expecting this stuff pack to come with more clothing mainly swimsuits because swimsuits for both men and women are on the lows 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 and what I would like in a future expansion or stuff pack is like cloaks that actually cover your sims and can be and with an option can be opened or closed and i think that would be a pretty cool idea your sims can get all mysterious so some of the cheats you are seeing in this build include the show hidden objects the move objects and there was one more. Oh yeah, ignore gameplay object or cheat. So the living room is more of a white or tan color for its theme. The kitchen is black and dark gray. The dining room uh, more of a tan and glass sort of theme. I actually love the chairs that, that came with Get to Work. The glass chair especially, the one that's uh, placed with the dining table in the dining room of the first level. So one feature I love about this lot is that the foundation wraps around the whole, uh, whole exterior so your sim can walk around the, on the outside instead of going right through. Although you sim will probably walk right through anyway. Unless you uh, force him to go around. Um, I have no idea how many... Well, there's the foundation and then the deck above it. Or the pathway, which is also just a room. So, if you want, you can be able to do what you wish. If there are any adjustments you'd uh, like to add to this lot, feel free. It's uh, a house I made for you guys for you to, so you can just mess around, experiment, 
see what you can do with the slot, or just leave it plain as it is. So, there will be a lot of pauses in this video, only because I am watching videos. In general, I watch videos, but mainly I use YouTube or Netflix. And I'm just going to be honest, when I do a speed builds, I get kind of bored easily and quickly. And to avoid that, I just, what I do is I just go ahead and watch videos as I do this work. So that item you just saw me place on the counter and then take down and place on there. That is a fountain net from the Luxury Party Pack. You can fill it with fondue or cheese. You can fill it with chocolate or sparkling apple cider. But the cheese you need cooking skill level 4. And for the sparkling apple cider you would need mixology skill level 3. There are two options that come with it to already, which is the chocolate, and I forgot the other option, but it is incredible. Now, for some of you who don't know, there are mods and hidden tips and tricks that other YouTubers do, and they can make half-tile walls. So if you don't know, half-tile walls are basically... Uh, well, I could have been imagining it either, so, I don't know. Anyway, half-tile walls are basically walls that can go halfway between tiles, not all the way around the tiles entirely, but I think it's a great idea that we have that in The Sims 4, because I'm pretty sure The Sims, The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 haven't ever had that option. And I think it would make a great idea to add into The Sims 4. I mean, like, who wouldn't want half-tile half tile walls? That way they can do whatever they want. Of course, it could get a little messy and confusing sometimes. But it would make some pretty awesome creations, I would say. There are the dining chairs that I thought were incredible with the expansion pack coming out and because of the perfect patio set download coming out soon i decided why not go all out on the exterior um on the exterior back patio basically i chose not to put that original table there because i didn't want my sims going out or your sims walking out there instead of sitting in the dining room to eat. So, I got rid of it. And if that still happens, please let me know and I can take this down, edit it, and I can repost it. If there are any suggestions that you want to let me know, feel free and I'll... Uh, make sure if I can do that. If not, then I'm sorry. Those windows there on the roof are just for decoration. They don't really have any use. So that's kind of, if you're wondering how I'm changing the color of the turtles without the scroll colors or the color wheel basically thing, or color swatches, that's it. If you're wondering how I was changing those, it's the plus or minus keys on the number pad, not the uh, row of numbers. Uh uh. It's on the number pad. It's linked to those only. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So here is the purple room decorated it to its full extent. Here comes the green. I thought, why just do the general objects first and then do decoration second? But I kind of got mixed in with it, so I kind of like to do one room at a time, detail by detail. 
So more about this lot is that it's a family lot. It has four bedrooms, three baths, which I said before, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's meant for a large family, I want to say, of maybe four sims to six sims in total. Maybe even eight if it's possible. But it is meant for a large family and can be edited at to your desire. If you want, you can even turn this orange room into maybe a workout area or painting studio if you'd like. The orange room and the office room both have exterior doors which lead out to the walkway that goes around the entire building. And I just took a sip of my drink. So this room was heavy on the outdoor retreat object. This one's more base game, but do I? No, I don't, okay. So I pretty much use this uh, office area as a way for Sims to maybe even make videos for YouTube. I wonder if that's even an option. I've never, uh, never done that. So, it's probably high in the video gaming thing. So, that desk is from Get to Work. I'm thinking the medical career. Yeah, medical career is where that comes from. Even the chair that's with it. So, I'm putting in the finishing touches for both the blue and the red rooms. And I wanted that satellite. I thought, oh my god, that has to go on the slot. It is just too incredible to miss out on. And it looks like a satellite TV service provider dish. Satellite dish. And I thought it would have been a great idea as decoration. I've not player tested this to its full extent, so. The satellite, I have no idea if it's got any options. And if so, please leave a comment saying that it does have options. I would like that. So here we're getting into the pictures. So here's the exterior from the front. Here's one of it at nighttime. These are kind of jumbled around. So here's the backyard. Which I think looks cool with the pink cherry blossom tree there. Front walkway. I couldn't go into live mode so fountains aren't working. Here's the main foyer with the crystal gems right there. Not linked to the Steven Universe TV show. Honest. Here's the living room. With its glory and fanciness. <laughs> I love those curtains. Those are nice. I just love them. Here's the dining. That's supposed to be deleted. So this is just... Okay, there's the hallway. And here is the dining room. Decorated it to its full extent. I took two, just in case. I don't know why. I should have looked at these. Here's the kitchen with the fountain to the left with the oven right behind it. Here's a view of the back patio. I think it looks gorgeous, especially with that background. Here's a view of the back patio looking down to the back garden. Here's the upstairs hallway. And next should be the office. Yep. Here's the office with its red theme, so your sims can do YouTube if you'd like. <laughs> if that's actually an option. Here's the blue bedroom. I love these doors because they've got glass embedded in them, and I think that's just a nice touch. Here's the green bedroom. I think that's pretty woodsy right there. Here's an outlook from the front door out to the house across the street, which is the house I'm currently playing as. 
here is the purple bedroom, which I think is more set for a girl. And the bed disappeared in this picture, and I have no idea why. It's supposed to be the red bed from the outdoor retreat. If it's not there in the download, please go ahead and get it. It wouldn't mind me. So here's the first level floor plans. Next should be a, the upper level. Yeah, upper level floor plans. And then one more shot of the exterior. So this has been a Sims 4 speed build. I love you guys all. Please comment and I'll see you all later.